Welcome to this tutorial on efficient support structure modeling. Here we want to explain the concept of homogenization and demonstrate how to model support structures in NetFab, then send them to the simulation utility. To understand how we can use homogenization to more efficiently model support structures, we start by examining this support structure on the left, which is like a lattice composed of many small elements. Meshing a structure like this is a computationally expensive process to resolve all the details, especially if the support structure is very large. To overcome this problem, we replace the very detailed mesh with a coarse mesh that fills the same support volume, but can be generated very quickly. We must also ensure that the coarse mesh responds to the build conditions in the same way as the fine mesh. To do this, we evaluate the volume fraction of the original mesh which is the volume of solid material compared to the total volume of the support structure. For example, a volume fraction of 0.2 means that 0.8 of the volume is empty space. If we scale the material properties of the homogenized mesh by the volume fraction of the original mesh, then we can be sure that the homogenized support structure under load will behave just like the original mesh. Going into NetFab now, we have a part with the lattice support structure and we go over to the Simulation tab and click Simulate Process. NetFab launches the simulation utility with the part on a build plate. It is also brought over an homogenized support structure that is a solid block. If we go to the browser, right-click on the support, and select Edit Geometry, we can see that the volume fraction here is 0.1 which indicates that the system has determined that the original lattice contained only 10% solid material in the total volume, and it applied the same fraction to the homogenized support structure. Let's use the Mesh Preview feature to examine how the part and support are meshed. When we load and view the results, we see that the coarse mesh elements are used on the part and support near the build plate, where we don't expect to see anything interesting but fine elements appear along the interface between the part and the support, where we will want to examine the results in more detail. So we have explained the concept of homogenization here and demonstrated interoperation between NetFab and the simulation utility.